I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Joe. I don't like the bloody face thing, but killing a dude with a pogo stick is pretty creative, and I'd wager it's the only kill most people even remember from this movie. Dol Machete for lamest kill will be Dan O'Grady. Even though the two neck snaps were lame, his random appearance through the elevator ceiling just makes no goddamn sense, man. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Michael McDonald. Ian's death was memorable, but it was off screen, and the steamer kill had the best effects of the movie. Plus, you know I love it when people are killed in ways that relate to their occupations. Dol Machete for lamest kill goes to Will William O'Day, because I can't believe they seriously kicked off this movie's kills with another broken neck. Lap, you're freaking magical. You need to find more fun ways to off people. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Loretta. I really wanted to give it to Fazio for how brutal his kill was, or Mitch for how unique his was, but Loretta's death kind of sums up the tone of this movie all by itself, and has got to be one of Lep's all-time most memorable kills. Dol Machete for Lamest Kill will definitely be Art, who, real talk, no way actually would have fucking died from that. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Kowalski. This death was part of director Trenchard Smith's pitch that sold the idea to producer Mark Amin. After all, who's gonna turn down a movie with a leprechaun materializing out of some dude's peen? Dol Machete for Lamest mm -hmm. Kill will go to Harold. Sure, Danny and Dolores' deaths were pretty lame, but Harold's was just embarrassing and way too cartoony for me, which is saying something in a leprechaun movie. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Mac Daddy's bodyguard. Most of these deaths were underwhelming, so I guess I'll go with the hole through the torso. At the very least, it's a pretty fun sight gag. Dol Machete for Lamest mm -hmm. Kill definitely goes to Jackie D, who you just hear yelling while Lep listens from some weird little trunk space that comes out of nowhere. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Officer Whitaker. Tearing a leg off is one of the more graphic kills Lep has done, but what really seals the deal is Whitaker's reluctance to give up and die, as well as the post-mortem use his leg gets for that funny police car gag. Dol Machete for Lamest Kill will go to Doria, not only because it's a return to those lame neck snaps from the first couple of movies, but also because she didn't do anything, Lep. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Jenny. It's maybe the most graphic in the movie, and the reason I give it the edge over Ben finding his spine is because it's so tragic for Ben and Sophie. PTSD for life! Dol Machete for Lamest mm. Kill has loads of options, but I guess Catherine's is the lamest since we see the least from it. Nothing but that stupid GoPro shot. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Andy. I love a good vertical bifurcation, and I like that he used the solar panel they had set up earlier. As for Dol Machete, I just don't have one. All six kills were pretty fun. What am I supposed to give it to? The fairy punching his way out of a dude's torso? The fun musical sprinkler kill? All of them were pretty good. I don't know what to tell you, man.